Hello, everyone. And today, I will present to you the interpersonal communications. As we looked earlier, the communication can move through different channels and take on different forms. There is oral communications, which means the spoken word. In this form, the communication is quick and give feedback directly. Uh, but the disadvantage is that the messages can be distorted between two characters. It means when you talking to another person, there will be there can be misunderstand between two characters. And the next, the written communications is another channel and one that is tangible and easy to go back there to verify. But the problem is it takes a lot of time to do and there also no immediate feedback. In the final nonverbal communications is another channel often used in organizations. This can be a knock, a look, or a click of eye, or just a question of M's. If it supports all the channels of communications and how to express emotion and feeling. However, this is often written with mid-perceptions and can greatly influence by the receiver interpretations of messages. And we go deeper about nonverbal communications in body movement. There are many different types of nonverbal communication that send a lot of messages. The body movements is a common method, such as tapping your fingers can show that you are impatient or nervous. The way you emphasize the words can change the way the receiver perceives the messages. Your facial expression can show emotions and express how you feel about the assignment or text. Also, the distance place between two people can express whether you are interested in the project or if you feel more powerful than the other persons. They will vary by cultural norms. In the next slide, we look through three common forms of small group networks, which is chains, will, or channels. With the chains, you can see it's very formal and reaches chains of command. The employee just know who is the next person in the chains, and that is where they give and get their information. In the will, there's more, they're more particular difficult than the last one is who control all the communications is the leader. This must be the team strong leader who can communicate effectively, which gain all of the com informations from other people in the teams. And the final, all channels, people like to work in all channels the most because the channel is much more fluent, where all group members communicate actively with each other and there's no formal channel or single persons. This works best in a situation such as self-managed team. Uh, so in the next slide, it's a chart of a small group effectiveness depend on the side outcome variable. You can see uh, in the last three chance uh, dwells and all channels is the effective and the benefits of each uh, different type. In the speech, you can see in the chains is moderate, the wheel is fast, and all channel is fast. It means in the chains is moderate, moderate because um, when the work, when the work unfinished from one one person and the other person cannot work uh, continuously, it means uh, in their YouTube channel, uh, it's as simple, for example, in YouTube channel, if uh, you are creating the content, somebody have to make the content, somebody have to record. And then uh, you give the record to the editor and the editor start to edit. And then uh, they continue after edit, he have to send to the boss thing, the poster. And the poster take the, uh, the, the, after the content, after the editors, he have, then the, uh, finally he post it on the YouTube. So it have to a chance and it's very late and uh, a long time to take. Um, about the accuracies, change is high, good is high, and all channels moderate. And emergence of a leader, a wheel is high because uh, in the wheels, in the wheels uh, type, in the wheel type, you can see that all of information and all of um, 
decisions is made by the leader. So the member and final of member satisfactions, the will is the low, most low and the most effectiveness because all of the decisions have to be made by the leader, which means, for example, if you are working in a team and all of the, the decisions of the team is made by the leader and you are a member in it and you are seems like don't have, uh, don't expect, expect out of your, all of your idea because, uh, the, the decision, the final decision is made by the leader. And you see this very unsatisfaction, right? So in the next slide, the grappings, the crease, we look through the three main swappings characteristics. Uh, this is a common network that has been sold to be an effective mode of communications. But typically, the gravitons is not controlled by the management, nor do they feed it informal information. However, the employees see it as a very believable and reliable form of communications. The gravitons have no formal purpose, but it's mainly there to serve the self-interest of those who use us. Developing from a need for these individuals to get more information about an important but ambiguous situation. And also the grabbing can be a way to receive information about the situations and reduce anxieties as well as a few in a social need to connect. The last one, the releasing rumors in any organizations rumor will be present. The managers can't complete eliminate rumors, of course, but there are some steps to reduce rumor in the organization's context. Let's find out. The first one is the announced transfers for making important decisions. The second is explain decisions and behavior that may appear inconsistent or secretive. The third is emphasize downside as well as the upside of current decisions and future plans. And the final is openly discourage words, case possibilities. They are most nervous as anxieties, provoking as the unspeed fantastic. It's meanwhile, the managers or everybody, every members in the group have to connect, have to explain and emphasize the um, and discuss the worst case as uh, much as possible to understand each other. So after this, my friend, my friends, Wong will uh, continue about their electronic communications email.